So in this video, we're going to be discussing first, second, third, and fourth degree burns. So first degree burns, basically it's the least severe level of burn, usually only affects the upper level of the skin, meaning the, uh, the dermis, and uh, symptoms include redness, often it's painful to the touch between two, day, two and three days, and um, it's, it can often be followed by uh, peeling up the skin. Secondary degree burns, also known as partial thickness burns, which is an important term to remember, and is a uh, this is a moderate level of burn. It usually contains the uh, epidermis and, uh, and part of the dermis. You can see here kind of what that is. So it's including uh, this part of the skin usually. And uh, some symptoms include a uh, much darker color, darker red color than a first degree burn. Oftentimes there's blistering. It's very painful to the touch. And um, the appearance can, can possibly be wet and shiny. You can see that kind of in this picture here. Uh, it's got a much different appearance than a, uh, a first degree burn. And it almost appears as if the skin is, uh, is broken at the top. There's, there's actual damage. And uh, that coincides with the uh, blistering that's seen in a second degree burn. So third, third degree burns are also known as full thickness burns, another very important term to remember. And um, they are very severe burns and uh, they're, they're very graphic as well. Um, I didn't include a picture because uh, if you want a picture, just Google it yourself. I swear this video would get flagged if I, if I put up uh, some of these gruesome pictures that you can find. Basically it affects all layers of the skin, epidermis, dermis and subcutaneous. Symptoms include uh, dark brown or waxy white color. There's often charring of the skin and it's uh, almost like a leather texture. But what's important to remember and what's gonna be seen on a lot of tests as a trick question is the fact that there's no pain in the third degree burn because the, the nerve cells have been damaged and they, they can't feel the pain anymore. They could feel it when it was happening, but now that it's third degree burn, they can't feel it anymore. So they feel no pain. And fourth degree burns are basically everything a third degree burn is plus damage to deeper tissues. So if you get a burn that's bad enough, it burns through your skin and then it starts affecting them either like, for example, a muscle, a tendon, a bone, sometimes organs potentially. That's what's characterized as a fourth degree burn. That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, comment below and subscribe for new videos every week.